Well, as you see, the S10 is looking absolutely awesome with this new front bumper. It honestly changed the look of the truck entirely. And I could not be more happy with the outcome. So it's a Racer's Edge second gen S10 bumper. And it is, it's, the quality of it is just top notch. The fitment is awesome. My front end is a little tweaked. I don't know why, it just is. If you can you look, my front end isn't perfectly straight. So I had to do a little finagling to get it to line up perfectly. But other than that, it's, you know, it looks really good. You know, of course the typical S10 gap on one side to be expected with a second gen S10. So it mounts pretty easy. You know, your standard uh, top mounts over here. There's nothing on the bottom but the lip, but the lip on the underside, you can get a piece of metal, bend it and make a bracket like this. Drill a hole, drill another hole. This is a prototype and it is very, very sturdy. The whole thing is Very sturdy. Same thing on the other side. Solid. Same type of mount. Prototype. Very straightforward. So the main reason we're getting rid of this bumper is because it's a little, a little loose. And um, it's got some paint issues. And if you look, if you've looked close enough to it, get out of the way, dog. The color is off a little bit. So I just kind of want to get away from it and uh, change it up a little bit because that's just kind of the way we are around here. Twenty one point two pounds. And the Razor's Edge bumper weighs seven and a half. But I'm extremely happy with my purchase of this front bumper. It looks amazing. This other one, the stock one, yeah, it's stock and blue but i don't know there's just something about this new bumper that just changed the look of the entire truck for the better but check out racer's edge fiberglass i've got some more stuff that i've got planned i'm not sure how much will get done because the baby will be here in the next five to six weeks we're thinking um but i'm gonna do whatever i can gotta pull this converter out next send it off and have it restalled and then we gotta do some wiring after that if I've got enough money, we'll throw a set of heads on here. If I don't, I'll get a set of 862s that my buddy Mike has, and I'll port those dudes right here in this garage and then throw them on. And if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But thanks for watching, and we'll see. It. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you while you're down there turning some wrenches.